Hi everyone, I'm Aaron from Intune Music and in today's video, we're going to talk about how to sing in tune. Alright, so how do we actually sing in tune? The thing is, we need to think about not just singing, but also about listening because a lot of singing actually concerns listening as well. So, you know, a lot of singers train to have a very good voice, a very strong singing voice, to have perfect vocal technique, but they usually neglect one important skill, which is to be able to hear the pitch and to have good oral awareness. So my first tip for you today is actually to work on your listening ability and to be able to listen to a pitch and reproduce the exact same note uh, with your voice. Okay, so how do you do that? Alright, so if I were to just play a chord, and sound off one note. Okay, so are you able to listen to this note and sing it in the exact same pitch? Okay, so for example, do, and we're just using the word do, so that uh, it's just a word for us to practice with. Okay, so let's say if I change the key, do, so are you able to do it quickly? and we will listen to the pitch and just sound it off immediately. For example, if I change the key, Do, Do, are you able to do it that quickly? Okay, so how am I doing that? First thing, I'm listening to the pitch that I'm playing. So that's the first step, listen. Okay, and then next step, you want to try a bit of humming first so that you can internalize that sound easier. Okay? So make sure that when you hum, it sounds as though you're in unison with what you're playing. So for example, if you're humming and then you go... You know, it sounds like it's clashing with the note I'm playing. Or if you go too low... Okay, it just sounds off-key, doesn't sound like it's in unison. So if I do it properly... So it sounds pretty much like one note, okay? So let's try a few and see if you are able to do this. Hum first. And then voice it up. Do. Okay? So if I change the key, listen, hum, and voice. Do. Okay? Do a few on your own. Listen. Voice it up. Okay, and one more. Listen, hum, and voice it up. Okay, so for example, just now the one that I gave, and this next one. The key is really to pay attention to the note that you're listening to and then to associate it with yes, the feeling of singing and to be able to sing in pitch and then remember the sensation in the throat in your vocal setup. So if you're singing a higher note, of course the sensation is different. The amount of support that you need and the setup and the preparation that you need is totally different than if you were singing an easier lower note. Okay. So, but just associating different pitches with uh, your vocalization certainly will help you to be able to sing more in tune and also to build up a good sense of oral awareness. Okay, so my second tip for you today uh, actually builds on the first tip that I gave you. Um, so this tip is actually to be able to learn how to sing a series of notes instead of just one single note, okay? So for example, if I were to play this starting note and you hum and voice it, so, right? so I want you to sing a series of notes from here. So what we do is we sing maybe the first three notes of a major scale. Okay, so for example, Do, Re, Mi. Okay, so that helps you to be able to identify the notes and also to be able to understand how the scale progresses and then to be able to voice it out accurately. Okay, so we don't want to do things like Do, Re, Mi because that means that you don't have any clue about how the scale sounds like. It should sound like Do, Re, Mi In the famous song Do, a deer, a female deer, right? The first few notes Do, a deer, 
Do, Re, Mi. Okay? So if you're not sure how to sing it, just listen to Do, Re, Mi, these pitches, and try to repeat them often. Okay? So let's change the starting note and see if you can sing the same few notes. Okay? So starting note, hum it, and voice it. Do, and then we go. Do, Re, Mi. Okay? So let's change the key. Hum it. Voice it up. Do, and then we go. Do, Re, Mi. And try a few on your own. Okay, so hum it. And voice it up. And then sing. Okay, and one more. Hum it first. Voice it out and then go Do. Okay, so I hope you were able to do it. Um, and of course, catching that first starting note is very important. So if you're not really sure, just bring the review the video a bit earlier to the first tip. So listen and then hum the note and then voice it out. Okay, then from then on, we will be able to do the subsequent two other notes Do, Re, Mi Even when we're changing key Do, Re, Mi Do, Re, Mi Okay? So that makes it easy for us Like for example when we hear a song uh, We can instantly understand the relation of the notes uh, And also identify um, what kind of scales and also be very familiar with our voice because the more scales that we practice, the more familiar we are with the way that we vocalize and the pitches that we hit. And our muscle memory actually will help us to be able to sing more in tune each time and to be able to improve on our pitching. Alright, so now that we've sung a single note and then we did a series of notes in succession, we're going to do a series of notes but we're going to jump over certain notes Okay, so I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay, so for example, we start with this note, Do, okay, and then we sing up to So, okay, so we're going to sing five notes, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, okay, then instead of singing all the notes in those five notes, we're going to skip the second and the fourth note, which means we're going to skip the Re and the Fa, okay, so we're going to do this. Do, Mi, So, okay? So, let's familiarize first with the first five notes of the scale, right? So let's sing Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, all of the notes first, okay? So, first note, Do, okay? And then, carrying on, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, okay? And the next key, Do, and the five notes, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So And another key Do Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So Okay, so now that we're more familiar with the five notes We're going to jump and do a sort of a leapfrog movement So we're going to skip the Re and the Fa, keep them silent, okay? So first note Do And sing Do, Mi so, okay, and the next key, first note, Do, and Do, Mi, So, last one, Do, and leapfrog, Do, Mi, So, okay, so just being familiar with this, um, using the scale notes to help you along, and then subsequently skipping a few notes so that we get sort of like a little jump in between the notes and that means we're learning how to negotiate musical intervals uh, intervals means just the distance between two notes so if it's a short distance like Do to Mi it's a smaller interval but if it's a bigger interval like Do to So that's a huge interval and of course there are even bigger intervals than that okay so just familiarizing with some basic intervals will certainly help us to have a better pitching ability and to be able to sing more in tune. Alright, so if you like today's video and you find that it's really useful for you to be able to sing more in tune, please do let me know, leave me a comment and also subscribe to my channel so that you are updated about my latest videos and I'll see you soon.